Hi there, Bodir here. Today I'm gonna show you what Hammer is. Uh, there is a nice tool, Informant or Satellite, that can be used to manage or do some kind of operations via CLI. So this is what we are gonna see today. So don't miss it. First, let's understand what Hammer is. In your satellite, if you type Hammer and press enter, it will be something like this. Basically, you can see the hammer. You can see all the subcommands like activation key, ansible, of capsule, uh, all of them. Everything that we have available and also some options. Okay. But let's do a step back and let's understand better what hammer is. Accessing this page, docs.redout.com you should be able to access all the documentation that we have in Red Hat. So you can click on S and after that you can see satellite, click on documentation. From this page I like to select the latest version or the version that you are using. Let's use the 612. And if you scroll down over here, you can see Hammer, Hammer CLI guide. So I like also to open a single page HTML in a new tab. And the nice thing here is you can scroll down and see all the options that you have in Hammer. Everything will be presented in this documentation. Or also you can type Ctrl F and write something like Errata. And then there you go. We have 89 entries about Errata. You can check everything that you have, all the flags, all the options, all the possibilities that you can use Hammer to automate your tasks, okay? Well, there, I don't have satellite, I have Foreman. We can definitely open this page. This is the page of the upstream project, the foreman.org. After that, you can click on get help and manual. In this page, once again, Ctrl F, Hammer, and then you can see all the options that you have about Hammer. But in chapter 4, we can see some more details. Like all the configuration, all the parameters that we have about Hammer. And eventually the command line interface and some usage examples. Okay. So basically today we are going to dive deep in this option and see how cool things we can do. So let's come back to our terminal. If you have no idea about Hammer, my first advice to everyone who is learning Hammer is to run this command, Hammer shell. This is pretty nice. This will open a subshell of Hammer and will allow you to use the tab to do some kind of out completion. So once we are here, if you press tab twice, you can see all the options that we have. So for example, I will type OR and if we check the OR, we have just one OR, after that is OS. Once I type OR and press tab, I can see the out completion organization. And if I press tab twice, once again, now I'm able to see all the options underneath organization. Then for example, list, or I can just put LI and press tab and then we will complement. And I can press tab twice once again, and now I can see the sub options underneath list. Another nice trick here is if you put dash hyphen, you can see all the options that are underneath that specific section like this but now with a, a long description, okay? Then you can see all the fields, uh, all the options, all the details, everything that's available, then this is pretty nice. So let's say I have organization list, this should be enough for me, and then now I can see my organization, okay? I have Acme as title, Acme as name, description, label, this is pretty good. And then the next step will be, okay, this is the information that I need. I can just get out from the hammer shell. I can copy this line over here. 
copy and paste remove the redirect and then we have the same output okay the same idea well there this is fancy uh, but I would like to see something like a report like CSV because I like to import this in my Microsoft Excel for example so you don't need to worry there are dash dash CSV this flag is gonna create like the output that you have in your screen right now in CSV format. Then you can see the information that you requested. Well, dear, this is nice, but sometimes I need to remove my header and I can do this like using grep or sad or any other command from bash. Again, we heard you and we added a new feature, no headers. So once you pass no headers, the information will come back, will be retrieved, but with no headers at all. So you don't need to use external commands if you don't want. You can let the hammer do this for you. Okay, there are some other ways I can filter just a field and print just one field. Uh, but let's, let's move it on. Let me show another example here. Hammer, host, and then I have no idea. I'm outside the shell right now. I can put dash H over here and I can see all the options as I mentioned before. So I can set Ansible roles, I can get information, I can list all the servers, I can get some status if the machine is on or off. So let's suppose I do this hammer host list. This is the common. I like to see all the hosts. These are pretty messy because it is all the information together. Then let me show again. Okay, we have the ID. We have the FQDN. We have the operating system. If I'm using host group, the information should be here. We have the IP address, MAC address, global status. So we have some additional information. Some points that I would like to highlight here. If we add dash dash help, you can see by default, I have all those fields available at this moment. By default, only the information or the fields with X will be presented. And there is this thing that will be presenting only ID and name. So let me show you this one first, the default. Let's say I'd like to see all the fields, all of them. Like at this moment, we are excluding this one. Organization, location, additional information, as well, errata information, like security, bug fix, and enhancement. Oh there, how can I do that? So there is this field option, fields, and then I can define which field I would like to present. I can set the name of the field, or I can just use all. So let's do both. The information is fields. And let's say I would like to see just the name. I can copy this guy, paste over here. And then I was able to retrieve only the name. Well, there, I like to combine ID, comma. Then there you go. If you'd like to add between double quotation mark, you can, because sometimes the field can have space in the name. So this will avoid like to be lost or generate some issue. Or now let's put all of them. Fields, all. This will bring back the whole information. We have much more information at this moment as secured bug fix and enhancement. Okay. All right. That's set. Let me do this. CSV. This will return the CSV format and this will be better to read. And also you can generate a file with this output. And once you import in your Microsoft Excel, the information will be there. All right. Pretty cool. Now let me show you one more thing. Let's remove the dash dash CSV and let's just keep hammer host list and then we have those information. Well, there I would like to filter some servers by some 
information, for example. I can use the name, I can use the operating system, I can use any information I want, but check this out, this is a trick. Let's log in in our satellite server. And once we are here, we can access host, content hosts. And check this out, VWebUI, there is a feature, a nice and amazing feature that you can just uh, use some help or guidance to create your filters. So for example, let's say I'm looking for all the systems that I have using Red Hat and they are rel 7, 7 dot something. I have no idea about the minor version. It can be 7.1, 7.9, 7.3, okay? So I can come over here, start typing uh, some information. You can see OS, this operating system. I can put equal, different, uh, something that has in the name. So you can play around with those operators. But let's say I have OS equal, and then you can see like Red Hat, okay? If I use this filter, all the Red Hat systems will be presented over here. But I would like to do more. And then I can add and OS minor. See, we have minor and major version. Basically major is seven and minor is nine in my case. So I can put major equal. Check this out. Uh, this will present to you all the options that I have already. If I have different versions of operating system like seven, eight, nine, five, four, all of them will be presented in this list. So we are looking for by seven. And then there you go. We have the guide that we are looking for, okay? And we can do a lot of different queries over here. So this is a basic one. I made this query. We can copy this guy. Let's return to the terminal. And then we have hammer host list. Oh, there, I don't remember the flag. No problem. You can anytime type dash dash help and get the help that you need. Over here, we can see dash dash search. So I'm gonna pass dash dash search and the search is the same that we have in the web UI. Dash dash search. This can be between single or double quotation mark. And then you can just paste the same query that you have in your web UI. And there you go. Now you have that same information. Odero, that's awesome. I would like to see this in CSV format. Dash dash CSV. That's nice. Odero, I would like to see all my rel, but with a major different from seven. Can I do that? Yes, definitely. The query will be very, very similar. OS is equal Red Hat and OS major is different from seven. And again, anytime you can come back to the web UI and run those queries uh, will be faster than this one. Then you can see like all of them RL8, 8 dot something. For example, you can see I have servers, node one, node two, and node three, and satellite. One more query. I know that the first field is name, so I can put something like name, telda, and then node. So this will bring back all the information that I have in my database with node in the name. Can be the middle, uh, in the end, any, any part of the name, okay? But yeah, I would like to get anything that has no nodes in the name. So again, exclamation mark before the tilde. And then this will bring back only the server that has no nodes in the name. So great, now you are expert in the hammer. So let's do this. Hammer host list. This query didn't spend too much time, but sometimes you have like thousand and thousand of servers and this query can be like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, one minute, because you have a bunch of entries. Basically what happened is 
we have different information like ID, name, operating system, IP address, MAC address, the global status. Those informations are not in the same place. We are combining information. We are doing different queries in different tables in our database uh, just to bring this back. If you like to speed up the process because you just need the FQDN, for example, to do some kind of report or uh, post operation, there is this one. If we scroll up once again, we can see the thing option, this one. This is a Boolean, one or zero, true or false. So we can do things like this, dash dash thing one. When I do that, the query will be much, much faster because I have no additional information. For example, I got some situations where the customer was spending like more than minutes to generate this report. And then this came to some few seconds, like two, three, four seconds. So this is pretty nice. All right, now let's do something a bit more interesting because I got now the list of servers that I have, but I would like to get some additional information. So hammer host. Okay, can I keep hammer host or hammer? Okay, remember all the time you can come back to hammer shell and you can keep on the hammer shell just to do your tests. So we have host. See, I press tab twice and then complement, out complement with host, but we have host collection, host registration, host groups. I, I'm i gonna play with host and then press tab again. The information that I'm looking for is info. This guy over here. If I like to see more information, I can just put dash H and then I can see all the information that I need. So this is gonna show some information about the host. Host info. Again, I can pass ID or I can pass the name. So dash dash name. Let's scroll up. Let me get this one. Copy, paste. Let me clean up the screen. And look at that. Once I run hammer host info dash dash name node zero one, uh, we can see a lot of information about this content host, like the organization, the location, uh, manage, the uptime in seconds, the status, uh, the network information, operating system information some parameters that were used during the registration process of this content host, also errata information. So you can see a lot of information over here. And again, we are not able to generate a CSV output from here because we are inside Hammer shell. But let's say I would like to get this output. Let's remove the redirect dash dash CSV. I can get the whole information about this server in CSV format, all right? But depending on the purpose of your necessity, I would recommend only to do this one. Then that's awesome. Uh, from here, we can use grep or awk or sad just to collect some information that we need. Or sometimes you need all of them, like this complete output, okay? So there, I have thousands and thousands of servers I'm not gonna do like hammer host info dash dash name and host one, two, three, four, because this will be like forever. Can I automate this process? Definitely you can. So we know this common. A little fast trick over here. You can put pounds in the beginning of the line. This is bash and then we are just commenting the line. So we are not going to lose that common, okay? We know this one, hammer host list. We already know that this is gonna bring back the whole information. I would like to filter everyone with node in the name, dash dash search, name, tilde, node. So this will bring back all those servers, okay? 
and also I would like to bring this back in CSV format so let me show you real quick there you go then again I would like to remove the first line because I don't need it dash dash no headers you can use no headers uh, before or after CSV dash dash CSV doesn't matter the order over here now this is cool because we have ID name and blah 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 I can use dash dash fields and just say name and look at that now we have only the names all right and now are you ready for that check this out we can do for b in dollar do let's just print the variable dollar b and down what this comment is going to do is just bring the whole information and for each interaction we have that common echo dollar b okay this one over here so if i use my arrow up i can see the same comment but now in a single line and then check this trick we have this comment over here since the beginning hammer host info dash dash name and then we are using the name of the server but at this moment I'm not going to use the name of the server instead I'll be using dollar B because this is my variable so let me clean up the screen let's take a look on this for B in this will be the complete common we'll bring back only the servers with nodes in the name we will return only the fields name for each server we are going to print the line in a sequence we are going to use hammer host info dash dash name dollar b this is what i call like a nested common because we have hammer on the top and then underneath we have hammer calling or doing a different calling as well okay and after i'm going to print a new line an empty line so let's check this out we have the first server the echo and then we have the first output related to the same server okay so if we scroll down we can see an empty line over here then we have node 2 this is the second server we have the name over here all the information once again a new empty line the name of the third server this is the third server and then we are gone there is one empty line this is in the loop and then we finish well there can i redirect this one to a file just to keep this information yeah definitely you can do something like this tmp uh, servers dot log this is gonna do the same operation we will be redirecting to this flat file and at the end of the process you should be able to see the same content inside this file so let's take a look tmp server dot log we have the first server once we scroll down we can see the new line and we can see the second server if we scroll down a bit more we can see the empty line the third server and the third server all information and then the end basically that's it you can do whatever you want with hammer uh, hammer shell is the first step you can definitely play around and check what's going on how things works if you have any additional question feel free to leave in the comments also you can reach out via the community or red hat as well if you are already a customer let me give you a present this is pretty nice and a little bit advanced but maybe this will help you somehow let's check this comment once again hammer dash dash host list this will bring back the complete list of servers okay 
Then, Baldir, well, I'd like to know more how this is collect information. I would like to see like in details or under the hood. And this here, I can tell the zero zero subscribe, you know, this is pretty nice. If you're not subscribed yet, please go for it. And feel free to share this with some friend that you have that work as his admin or already with Linux, uh, Foreman, Satellite. So we can add dash D. Dash D is gonna present some additional information. Dash D means debug. So once we add this one over here, look at that. We can see everything that's happening under the hood. We can see the output in the end, but let me scroll up and show what's going on. So those here are the calls because this is a Ruby application. We have some loads and right here we have this API call. So this is my server, my local server. This is the endpoint that I'm getting the information, API hosts. Uh, I have some parameters from that API and basically those are the response. And the number of occurrence, uh, the number of items per page. Uh, I'm not using search in this moment. I'm not using sort. So I just got the response. So my first response will be index zero. And then I look at that. I have a bunch of information, like I'm retrieving all of them, but I'm presenting just a few of them. If you scroll down more, we can see the second one and go on all of them all the information that we are retrieving and at the end of the process we have the response header and the output as well the expected one so that's it for today i hope you like this video uh, hammer is a very very nice topic this can be very useful to your management tasks in a daily basis. Again, if you have any question, feel free to share in the comments. If you really enjoyed that, feel free to share. Uh, give the thumbs up. There is a thumbs up over here. And see you in the next video. Bye.